I'm excited to add the Apple Pencil to my iPad Pro. In this video, I'm gonna open it, set it up, and give you my first impressions. Hi, my name is Craig. On this channel, I do tech tips and reviews along with the weekly Echo series. I'm also a big Apple fan. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thank you. Check out the description. I'll put links in there to the Apple Pencil if you wanna learn more about it. Let's get started. Something to note about the Apple Pencil, this is only compatible with 2018 iPad Pros. That means the new 11 inch and the new 12.9 inch. It will not work with any of the other generation of iPads. On Apple's website, they say the Apple Pencil set the standard for how drawing, note taking, and marking up documents should feel. Intuitive, precise, and magical. Is it intuitive, precise, and magical? Let's open it up and find out. So like most Apple products, so much of it is about the packaging and the experience. You know, we get our pull tab here to easily get through that plastic so you don't have to pull out a knife, which I do appreciate. And here is the pencil. Now this pencil is 129 and it's really kind of sold as a great way to draw with its pressure sensitive tip. It's great for taking notes. You can use it to help edit photos and video. And I've even heard it's a great way to just kind of navigate the iPad. I do like the feel of it. It does feel comfortable in the hand. Here's the little rubber tip that's pressure sensitive so that you can draw on an angle, do fine drawing on here. That's all that's in the box is the pencil, a little bit of paperwork. There is no charger that comes with this. Basically, the only way to charge it is to attach it to the iPad. It does have a flat side on it so that it can magnetically attach to the top of the iPad. Simple labeling with Apple Pencil. We have the little rubber tip on it matte finish as opposed to the shiny finish of last year's model and this is the first apple pencil i've owned it feels solid it's lightweight there is no cap on it like the previous version that you had to stick into the bottom of the ipad to charge it which always seemed a little weird but uh let's pair it up with the ipad pro now the pairing process is supposed to be super simple you just attach it to the magnets on top would you like to use this pencil with your iPad? Welcome to Apple Pencil. Use apps in a whole new way. Annotate, markup, edit in apps. Create an instant note by tapping the screen. Switch tools with a gesture. With a double tap, you can easily switch tools as you write, sketch, or draw. Double tap on the iPad Pencil to switch between the tool you're using and the eraser. We'll hit done. You gotta love that. Apple is making these products sync up so well. They really started with the AirPods and just being able to flip them open and deciding if you want to connect it up. Now let's pull off the pencil. Now here it has the little double tap. So if you're writing, you're able to double tap and it becomes an eraser. So instead of having to change tools or any of that, they've really simplified it. Supposedly you could also program this up for some other features. We'll have to look more into that. Now I'm not making a full video on features. I'll follow up with a video on using the Apple Pencil in different apps. Right now I'm just playing with this as someone who took it right out of the box and is just experimenting with it and seeing what it can do and what it can't do. Now let's open up something like YouTube. Let's open up a second app to check out split screen. You're not able to drag up the bottom bar. Let's see if I could drag an app in there to start split screen. Okay, I can drag an app to open up split screen. That's a little annoying. You can't use it to shift the bars around. So if I wanna resize the window, I have to go back to using my finger. I like the idea of not having to touch the screen and putting fingerprints all over it. But you still have to go back to using your finger to be able to do stuff, okay. That's a little annoying. I'm hoping there's something in the settings or an update that comes out that fixes that. I don't really like that. I don't have any drawing apps on here, but let's try some note taking. Let's try a little bit of 
Okay. I guess it's in like pen mode now? Let's change the tip and put it in pencil. Okay, it should be a pencil. So you get just fine there. Ooh, I like that. I like the shading. Can I change colors and shade? Oh yeah, that's good stuff there. Wow, <laughs> it even looks like a lead pencil when you do that. You could color over it more. You can write darker. It is pressure sensitive. Oh wow, that is impressive. That is like a pencil. Try the pen. Okay. That has a good feel to it. Let's try making a note. Let's erase this. Just tap it. There's a little eraser icon pops up. We can close this. Oop. Tap it. There's my eraser. Ah. So it looks like when you erase something, when you tap on something you did, it'll get rid of the whole thing. Okay. I like that. You don't have to go through and hit every piece of it like you would an eraser. Good stuff there. Let's turn this as if I were to take some notes. Does have the palm rejection, so let's try this. Okay, uh, it, it doesn't have the drag of paper. Of course, it's a shiny polished screen with a plastic rubber tip on it. Let's test how small I can write. Okay, it's not the neatest thing, but I can see it just jotting down some notes and with practice, I'm sure it gets better. That's really sloppy, but I like the potential there. Let's try opening up a photo. To start messing with the photo, I did find that if I hit edit, get the three dots over there, choose markup, and now I can make some notes. And change the color. Highlight right there, right there, and 19,000. I was really surprised when that happened. Super cool. I did appreciate that. Uh, let's see, I wanna erase this stuff. Actually, go back, tap. Cool, easy enough. Let's try some of the other adjustments. Okay. It is very precise there. I like it. I think it's interesting. I am going to have to play with it, learn more about the settings of it. Locks in there pretty well, but yeah, it feels like it could be easily knocked off. You know, one of the things I was seeing was that you should kind of hold the iPad like this so you don't lose that pencil. A good thing with the pencil, if it's away from the iPad, it will go into almost a sleep-like mode. I am definitely going to need to play with this some more. I do think it is an interesting addition. I do like it for the scrolling. I could see using it for the note taking, for kind of some precision editing. I picture if I did some editing on videos, this would come in handy. Maybe some adjustment on some photos. Uh, but yeah, one of the bummers I'm finding is the fact that I can't just swipe that bottom bar. It'd be nice to just not have to touch the screen at all and just be able to navigate and pop open apps to go split screen. So we'll see. That's the unboxing setup and my first impressions on the Apple Pencil. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't, consider subscribing and click that bell to be notified of the next video. If you'd like to help support the channel, Check out the Amazon link in the description. If you use it, Amazon will kick us back a little. There's also a link to the merchandise store. Thank you for watching this. Have a great day. Bye.